Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I have the, got the old bike loaded down. And uh, I said, we're going to go down in here. There's a spot I want to get to. It's way down here. Last time I was there, I want to say it took, it's about three and a half miles on the bicycle. Uh, I said, I got way more than I need on this wagon. You know, and I brought my waders because the water's up a little bit, just in case, you know, and I need to get across some water. Uh, I got everything I need to stay out here all day. You know, and hopefully we won't have to stay out here all day, but I got everything I need. All right, we made it out here as far as I can ride, or as far as I'm going to ride on the bicycle. Um, I still have a, you see it's barely starting to break daylight by there. I'm gonna get on in here and start walking. Got everything packed up. Bicycles locked on the tree. I said, I haven't been here. It's been a while, but I haven't got here from the way I'm trying to get here. Yes, I got to try to remember, remember all this in the dark. I said I marked, I marked the spot on it, on the map, but it was just a random spot, you know, it wasn't a tree or nothing.
it's safe to say it looked like a good, pretty good shot. So he's not the biggest deer, but as much as as much as I've been through to get out here today, he is a trophy. He has a, a very nice trophy for the amount of work I'm fixing to have to put in to get him because it sounded like he just went swimming. I said that was my goal, just to come out here. I wanted to get on this island. I knew there were some bucks on here. There's probably some bigger ones. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not going without filling one of my buck tags. I got two tags. This buck right here is going to be my icebreaker tag pretty much. My next one, I'll hang on to it, find me a good buck. It don't sound like he ran too far. Boy, he got me worked up there for a minute. But I'm gonna give him a few more minutes and uh, we'll probably get down and go try to find him. Well, I was having a hard time finding this stuff. Finding blood. Now that I'm on it, I can see it, but good night. Having one heck of a time to begin with. Everything out here is so daggone wet. So he shouldn't be too far. He didn't run the way I thought he did. That's where I was getting turned around at. Alright, where'd you go from here? Right, there's some. Right, look. It's all on that palmetto. All right there. Well, he's spraying out pretty good. Like I said, he just did not run the direction I thought he was going to run. I thought I heard him fall and crash. So it should be right up here somewhere. Yeah. I heard him hit the water. This is where it's going to be. In the butt. But when he hit the water, it didn't sound like he went that far. I think I seen. I believe that is a. Yep, that's a white belly right there. I knew he didn't, didn't sound like he run that far. It don't look like the shot was as good as it was either, or at least it, as good as I thought it was. And I seen was back in the beginning right there, as a bunch of gut matter. Might have to get back to the house and go to the range. Is this bumpy daggum road Coming down here on, on my trailer, I hope it didn't beat up my gun too bad. Yeah, like I said, he's he's not a, a monster buck or nothing, but he's something I'm proud of. Oh, he's he's nicer than I thought. 
it's a big four point. That's crazy. Look at that. Just a big old four point. Well, he shot was right there. That's not a bad deer. This is crazy. You know, I thought he was a nice little six point, but he's just a big fork corn. He's got a Quite sure exactly what that is. Hey, buddy. All right, uh, well, that'll work. We get him jugged back over here to some drier ground where I can get all my stuff pulled down so I can take some good pictures and all and good video. Uh, get your turn back on. All right, I got my stuff. I went ahead and climbed up the tree, grabbed everything, took it back up to my bike, and then I grabbed my knife, come back out here. I left the deer out here where I, my stand was at. Come back out here to get him. I'm gonna drag him out a little ways and get him closer to the edge of this water. That way, once I gun him, I can dunk him in the water and clean him out. And I. You know, if I decide to come back out here next weekend, at least the gut pile will be away from this area right here. Um, which, it, it shouldn't matter. It should be gone by next weekend, but. All right, folks. We uh, finally made it all, got all the way back out of the woods. He's filthy, muddy, and dirty. But uh, there he is, y'all. He's not a bad little four point. I thought he was bigger than what, it, or I thought he was a six point. Thought he was like gonna be like a decent basket basket rack six point, but anyway, this this is gonna be my what I always, I like to call it my icebreaker buck. You know, we get two tags. One of them is a any size buck, and the other one's got to be a quality buck. So I got my my icebreaker out of the way. My last one's gonna be definitely gonna save it for some for a nicer one. But uh, this is it. We're going to put everything back on the wagon. I got my bike behind me here, which is a, uh, it's a Rambo bike. Um, without this stuff here, I don't know if I'd ever... I mean, there's no way I'd have made it down, here, down in here before daylight anyways. So I'm going to credit Rambo. This is just a, a game cart from Academy that I've modified. And then having my tethered tree sat on the sticks that I've customized it made so it made everything so much easier to get down in here and get this done uh, so I can't thank everybody enough for making these quality products but as we starting to get a bunch of flies on this dude I'm fixing to load everything up and we appreciate y'all watching stay tuned we'll catch you on the next video <laughs>